Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about resizing an Ubuntu partition. So what I've done is I have a USB thumb drive with the with the Ubuntu Live uh, distribution on it and the, uh, and the installer. It's all on this one uh, thumb drive. So I booted into that and then I'm going to click down here on the dots that say show applications and I'm going to type disks and I'll open up this disks here. And you'll see here I have two SSDs. I have Windows on this 250 gigabyte SSD and I have Ubuntu on this 500 gigabyte SSD. So I want to create a partition that I can use on either of the operating systems. So I'll go into here to the 500 gigabyte disk, which has Ubuntu on it. I'll click the largest partition here. I'll click these gears and I'll say resize. And then I'll take this down. I'll take 50 gigabytes off of this. So the free space is 50 gigabytes now and I'll hit resize. Okay. And you should back up before you do this if you have data on it. This is a new in instance for me. So then I'll click on free space here. I'll click on the little gears or I'll hit plus. And uh, it'll have the partition size here. I'll hit next. It wants me to give it a volume name. So I'll say shared volume. Ask me if I want to erase. I don't need to. And it asks for the type I want to use. So I will choose fat here. So it's compatible with Windows and Ubuntu. Okay, so now I have this share created. I can exit out of here and I will restart the system and I'll go into, I'll pull the thumb drive so it boots into Ubuntu. Okay, so I've rebooted and you'll see this shared volume is up now. It truncated the E off the end. I figured that might happen. So now we can drag things into there. I don't know, I'll create a new folder. There we go. We ha can drag things into there and this should be accessible now on our Windows instance. So I will reboot and switch into Windows 10. Okay, so now I'm booted into Windows. If I open up the File Explorer and click on this PC, we'll see that the shared volume is here. We'll double click on it and here we have the test folder. So we could drag things into this folder and when we reboot, it will show up in uh, you know both operating systems depending on how we booted the computer. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.